Hey guys, it's Elite Four Champion Nick here, um, or Elite Four Champ Nick, I guess. Either way, uh, it's, it's been a while since I made a video. Um, I really haven't been collecting cards very heavily the past probably year and a half or so, but um, I decided to make a video today. Uh, one of my really good friends that I play a lot of Xbox with and just video games in general, um, he was suggesting, because he's into collecting cards when he can and stuff too, and he was suggesting I should uh, make videos again, especially now that I'm able to buy some cards that I have a job again. Because basically the last 18 months or so, it was just whenever I got, you know, birthday gifts or Christmas gifts from family and friends was pretty much the only time I was getting cards. And um, not to mention I moved out of my apartment I was at before. So just a little bit of a channel update, I guess, for you guys. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to be regularly making videos again anytime soon um i may or may not be i can't really say with my job right now i'm not in town very often um but it's also seasonal so maybe maybe around like november or so i'll be kicking off with more videos but we'll see where it goes anyways um i got uh eight packs here of sun and moon guardians rising so without further ado, I'm not going to talk my head off here. We're like a minute and a half in, I think. So I'm just going to go ahead and open these. Um, I'm not very versed with the names of these Pokemon yet. I did play Sun. I have Moon as well, but I've only played Sun. And I think I'm on like the fourth island. I haven't even beat it yet. It's been a while since um, I played. So yeah, trying to get this pack open without destroying it too much. I like to keep some of these um, booster packs packaging just for the um, the art on it is pretty cool to have. I like to keep one of each character usually, um, but yeah, I don't know. This one didn't really come off very great. It's kind of messed up there. Oh well. I'm just gonna tear this open. Let's try this again. So, midway opening my first pack, I got the packaging off, but I'm pretty sure the video cut out. Um, guess my phone doesn't really have storage. That's another thing is I don't have a camera to do this with anymore on a tripod because uh, broke up with my girlfriend from last time I was making videos. But anyways, not gonna get into that. Um, first card here is Taylo. Uh, we got. Jangmo O. Then we got Delibird. Just chilling out, having a grand time. Trubbish. Looks like clay. Uh, we got Machop here. Minior. And we got a hollow first pack, so that's a good start. We got Chandelure. That's pretty sweet looking hollow. I like that. Put that to the side over here. We got Fairy Energy, Energy Lotto, Hakamau O, Jenga O's uh, Evolution, and then Rescue Stretcher. All right, let's get on to the second pack here. Stack these cards to the side. Here we go. I like this art right here. That's pretty sick. Just for sake of, oh, actually, this one came open pretty easily. Maybe I can save it. It's just about to say, for sake of saving time and stuff, because apparently my phone has like no memory. Um, I'm just gonna tear it open, but it came out pretty easily. All right, let's get that code card out of the way here. We got another Jankmo O, a Wishy Washy, a Deli Bird. Again, a Mudbray, a Slowpoke, a Heliolisk, pretty sick, Reverse Hollow. Oh boy, hell yeah, second pack in, check that out. I like that border, that black line border is really cool. We got a Vikavolt E, or no, GX, I lied. It's not EX, wow, they changed it. That is freaking awesome looking like. Oh my god. Alright, I'll put that to the side. That's that's unreal, man. Second pack in. Lightning Energy. A Clefable. A Lampent. 
and a beware. All right. I don't even know how I'm going to top that, but we could try. We could try. Okay. We got that legendary guy from the island. What is his name? Like Tapioco? Tapioku? I don't know. Something like that. Kind of reminds me of that pudding tapioca. I hate that though. It's freaking disgusting. Uh, can I save this one? I don't know. It's, a, it's not as nice as the uh, previous pack. That, that came open like instantly. Okay. Yeah, this one's being a pain. Alright. Ah. Don't bend my cards. Dude, what is the deal? Okay. Anything to delay the process, I swear, man. Let me get this code card out of the way here. We got Bellsprout here. Cottony. Alolan Sandshrew. They even tell you that it's Alolan, as if you couldn't tell by the freaking blue. Stuffle. Tentacle, sorry, Tentacle, <laughs> Tentacle, he has those, Provo Bass Reverse Hollow, oh, the rarity is uh, in the bottom corner here, I didn't see that, I was looking for the star, I'm like, where is it, oh, uh, this is my rare, Oricorio, it's pretty lame, but, I mean, after the last one, Lightning Energy, it's kind of hard to top that, Fletchender, a Weeping Bell, and an Aqua Patch, so I got Bellsprout and Weeping Bell, let's see if I get, like, a Victory Bell, maybe, the next one. I'm assuming he's a holographic. He probably is. I haven't looked at this set too much. I just... Um, I looked at the original Sun and Moon. I looked at this one briefly just to see what the EXs were. I mean, obviously, usually it's the ones on the pack covers, but there's also, like, a few more. Because they only, ha they only ever have, like, four um, different Pokemon on the packs. So... And those are usually EXs and rare cards. But uh, anyways, so yeah, I, um, I saw Sun and Moon. Just the base Sun and Moon, Cottony. I didn't like those as much as these ones, so I got these. The Lullin Sandshrew, the Guardians Rising have way cooler ones to me. Stuffle, a Tentacool, a Helioptile, a Murkrow Reverse. Uh, my rare is Pangoro. It's actually a pretty cool looking card. It's not holographic or anything though, which is kind of lame. Uh, we got a grass energy here, or leaf energy, I guess, whatever you want to call it. A mallow, a pseudo and a holla. A holla at your boy. You know how I'm saying? Oh, that was lame. But that's me. Okay. Moving on here, we're about halfway through. We got four more left. <clears throat> Just gonna. Oh, I might be able to save this one too. Maybe. Sometimes it, it's tricky. It looks like it's gonna give you an easy in, but no. No, this one's being retarded. Okay, whatever. It's like that clear film. The, um, the artwork underneath it, like this foil stuff, just comes straight off of it, but it doesn't, like, open up. It's weird. I hate that. Alright, code card out of the way. Got a Helioptile. A Petalil. Petalil. A Chansey. A Gothita. And a Lolan Vulpix. It's pretty adorbs. Got a Watchog here. Got a Salazzle. That Pokemon's so dope. Oh, that's my rare, I guess. A uh, Water Energy. An Enhanced Hammer. A uh, Komala. And a Multi Switch. Alright, my dudes. We are three packs away now. I really like this. Uh, pack art. This is dope. A little in nine tails. I'd like to get that card. That would be sweet. Even though I don't think it's particularly that great for like competitive or anything like that, at least in the VGC. Um, I think a little nine tails is really cool, like concept wise. 
uh, the, the ice fairy and everything. And it just looks awesome. Like, I'm not the biggest fan of Ninetales, but this Alolan form is just sweet. Really like it. Alright. I'm going to start this off with another Petalil. A Chansey again. A Gothita again. And a Lolan Vulpix again. And we got a Fletchling. That's new. A uh, Barbo Traverse Hollow. And my rare is M Mudsdale. Mudsdale? That's a weird name. All right, holographic, that's cool. I'll put that to the side. We got a psychic energy, I guess you would call it. But it's also poison in the card game, so I don't know. Aether Paradise Conservation Area, a Vanillish, and a Whimsicott. All right, two more packs. Let's do it. Going by pretty quickly here, kind of. I don't know. I feel like this is a pretty long video, actually. But it's my first one in a long time, so... And my setup is just, to be honest, got awful. But hopefully this, uh, these cards here are decent enough backdrop. I don't have, like, my posters or anything set up on my desk. So... I don't know. In the future, like I said, if I get into it again, I'll, I'll make it a little bit more streamlined. Hopefully I'll have a... You know... A better camera setup and better camera quality and everything. Oh my god, this is doing this to me again. Ridiculous, man. Like, this entire top corner just doesn't rip away. It's just retarded. Anyways. That's half my problem right there, I swear. Okay. So we got a Fletchling. Machop. Phantom. Barboach. Carvana, a Ven Venelux, uh, Reverse Hollow Rare, a uh, Trevenant Rare, not Hollow, almost said Hollow, Fighting Energy, Watchhog, uh, Galil, Gali, Glalie, I'm retarded, Glalie, <laughs> it's been too long, man, uh, Machoke, pretty decent uh, artwork there for the Machoke, it's kind of cool. I don't think it's that unique though. I mean, I'm pretty sure he's lifting stuff in like every card ever. But you know, well not every one, but probably at least half of the cards he ends up doing something like that. Something really macho, which makes sense. All right, last pack here, guys. Thanks for suffering through this with me. This is a, uh... it's been a while, man. I'm just super rusty, but you know, I told my friend I would probably record it so that's what I'm doing keep my word here we got a Machop a Phantom a Barboach a Carvana a Talo Reverse Gothita uh, Garbador it's pretty garbage <laughs> uh, we got Steel Energy that was my rare by the way the Garbo guy Hakamo-O a Matang and an altar of the sun with two N's and an E. It's really odd way to spell that. Anyways, um, so that's it, guys. I got this sweet Vika Volt here. GX, not EX. Um, that's awesome. One out of eight. I mean, I think that's about the odds that you're supposed to get, honestly. One out of eight is like right on the head for GX cards or EX cards, whatever. Uh, and I got two regular hollows, so not bad. It's almost 50%, or 3 out of 8. Um, can't get, can't get like, OP luck every time, so I, I can't complain about that. Anyways, I'm going to end it here, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll try to make more videos in the future, no promises, like I said. Uh, other than that, hope you guys have a great one, and hopefully I'll see you soon. See you later, guys. Peace out, Bellsprout.